Welcome to All Pro Football Data. My name is Jim Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about Luke McCaffrey, uh, wide receiver from Rice. Uh, first team All AAC in 2023. We're going to be looking at his data profile. We're going to look at his production, his athleticism traits, to kind of see where he projects at the next level in the NFL. Uh, so if you're new to the channel, new to the stuff that I do, there's going to be certain parts of the video you can just pause to kind of get an idea of the data stuff that I do. But let's get to his uh, video. So first off, offensive market share data. Pause the video real quick if you're new to the channel. Uh, but he scored really well, um, 67 percentile in terms of his uh, receiving market share. Um, he had a uh, 86 percentile uh, total offensive market share production score and also an 80 uh, six percentile touchdown market share production score. Uh, so his data was pretty decent in terms of his uh, market share scores. Uh, moving on to his efficiency scores, kind of iffy, um, 40 percentile in terms of his uh, yards per reception. Uh, and then when you look at his TD percentage, he was a little bit better, close to a high 60, probably 68 to 67 percentile for that particular metric. Uh, but his efficiency is okay. It's not the best. Uh, his yards per reception is very, is pretty low, uh, I would say, for a wide receiver of his stature. Uh, but everything else is is pretty decent. It's, it's within the within range of what you would expect out of a starter. Uh, now, when you get to his athleticism traits, um, this is the area that he really tested pretty well, uh, for the most part. Um, he had a um, 49 percentile explosion score, um, 64 percentile speed score and a 92 percentile um, flexibility score. The flexibility score, of course, takes into account things um, like the short shuttle, three cone, those types of things. But looking at this profile, he has starter potential. He definitely has that based on his athleticism traits. So that's a positive. So, so far, good production in terms of from a market share perspective, not so hot in terms of efficiency, but did have good athleticism. What does his adjusted production say about him, uh, which is the next part that we're going to be looking at? Uh, and in terms of his adjusted production, it's a little iffy, guys. 39 percentile in terms of his age, uh, 37 percentile in terms of his MSA rating, and 62 percentile in terms of his pass rating. Um, the reason why it's so low is, one, because his age really drops his data. His strength of schedule and strength of team, again, he played at Rice. So he didn't produce like this at Alabama or LSU or any big name, high profile type school. He produced like this in the AAC. So typically wide receivers that play at lesser competition have to produce more than other wide receivers from other places to expect them to be considered a special wide receiver. And he didn't produce like that. You know, he just simply didn't produce like that. He is an older prospect as well. And those are definitely the kind of co the concerns with him. Now, in terms of his comparables, um, these are the wide receivers that tested similar to him from an athleticism standpoint, uh, a production standpoint, uh, and, of course, MSA and pass rating uh, for him. I'm uh, just kind of giving you kind of a range of possibilities, if you will, uh, for Luke McCaffrey. And I would say he has more in common with, say, a Cedric Wilson or Keenan Burton than he does T. Higgins or Marvin Jones, mainly because Marvin Jones was a younger prospect. Same thing with T. Higgins. T. Higgins was a ridiculously young prospect compared to uh, Luke McCaffrey. But I think his overall data profile definitely kind of lines up more with a backup uh, rotational starter versus a guy like Marvin Jones or a guy like T. Higgins. But those are definitely within the range of possibilities. You know, this is what you would expect out of a player like this, if you will. Now, the overall outlook for Luke McCaffrey, uh, he profiles as a backup to outlier Pro Bowl long term. Um, so in other words, if he, if he was going to become a Pro Bowler, that's like the highest total upside he could possibly have and is very unlikely to happen. Um, he has elite flexibility athleticism, uh, but his production was not elite coupled with poor adjusted production traits. Uh, this profile often becomes more of a backup at the next level, but he's worth a shot as a day three uh, flyer. So if you're a team and you're looking for a guy to come in and potentially become a starter, this is your guy. 
but he also needs to make sure that you don't have competition that's going to outplay him. Uh, because typically players like this usually just end up being rotational backup type players. You know, Alec Pierce, for example, you know, a number three or number four wide receiver, a uh, rotational type player. So that's Luke McCaffrey in a nutshell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. Uh, make sure you ask some questions. Do you like Luke McCaffrey as a prospect? Do you like his film? Um, do you feel like he's somebody who's going to kind of outperform these metrics? I want to know. I really do. Uh, and I definitely will respond to those uh, criticisms if you have them. Uh, also, check out my Twitter, or now known as X page, at Geometrics, uh, which is probably the best way to reach me. Also, check out patreon.com slash jcoburn, which is my Patreon page. Consider donating money to that page. Uh, consider joining as well to get videos early, to get content early, and, and uh, just a lot of information. I'm also going to have the uh, NFL Draft Analytics Guide, the 2024 NFL Draft Analytics Guide on there. Uh, probably within around April, that's going to drop. So if you really want to get some really cool information about the draft, uh, that's just going to make you a smarter fan, definitely go there and get that information. But with all that stuff out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.